Are you Christian? No, I'm a Muslim. Muslim? So why are you wearing this t-shirt? Do you believe in Jesus? Yeah, I do. Actually, I won't be Muslim if I don't believe in Jesus. In fact, I believe that Jesus was a Muslim as all the prophets and messengers were. Are you kidding me? Listen, Christianity is the religion based on the life and belief of Jesus Christ and the one who follow this religion called Christian. The word Christian means the one who follow Christ. So the word Christianity and Christian come from the word Christ. So what does Islam mean? Islam is an Arabic word which means submission and surrender to the will of God. And the word Muslim means the one who submits and surrenders to the will of God. So the one who submits and surrenders to the will of God is Muslim. When many people hear the word Islam, they have that kind of thinking it's a religion of Arab. By the way, Non-Arab Muslims make up 80% of the world's Muslim population. And they think it's a new religion that has been brought by the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. But this is not true. Islam is the religion of all the prophets and messengers. Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus and Muhammad peace be upon them all. Yeah, there were Muslims before the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. You know, when I say that Jesus was a Muslim, I don't say that only according to the Quran. I say that according to the Bible too. And please, correct me if I'm wrong. Was Jesus submitting to his own will? No, he, Jesus always did the will of the Father, but since, since his will was to do the will of the Father, it was his own will as well, of course. Jesus was submitting to the will so his own of will. God, his Father. I would say he was submitting to his Father's will. Okay, here we agree. As a Muslim, I believe that Jesus was submitting to the will of Father, whom we believe as a Muslim it is the only true God, the Creator. He is the one that Jesus worshipped, but who never worshipped Jesus, and is the only one to whom Muslims pray, as well as Jesus did. And you can find that in the Bible when Jesus said, For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. So, Jesus here is submitting to the will of God, as Muslims do. Wait. I'm quite sure you don't have enough knowledge about Christianity because Jesus has two nature, the divine nature and human nature. Well, I've talked in one of my previous videos about the issue of the two natures and it can't be logical. You can watch it when you're done watching this video. Did Jesus accept to be worshipped? Yes, he did. Uh, yes, he did. Yeah. Yes, he yes. accepted worship. As a Muslim, I believe that Jesus never asked to be worshipped because the messengers of God are calling people to worship God not asking people to worship them. And there is none worthy of worship except God. Jesus never asked to be worshipped. In fact, he refused to be worshipped when he said, They worship me in vain. Their teachings are but rules taught by men. So Jesus here does what Muslims do and believe. If Jesus is a God, does he have the power to do his miracles himself? Jesus is not a God, he is the God, but he certainly had the power of miracles, yes. No, he, he just lived like a human being, depending on the power he received when he was um, baptized by John the Baptist. He said, I only do what I see my father do. No prophet has able to declare that, to say they only do what they see. As a Muslim, I believe in Jesus' miraculous birth and that he was performing miracles. But Jesus is a prophet of God and he can do nothing of his own. Actually, Jesus himself said this in John chapter 5 verse 30. I can do nothing of my own. When Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, he looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you've heard me. I know you always hear me, but I said this for the benefit of the people standing here, that they may believe you sent me. Jesus thanked the Father because he gave him the power to do this miracle. Why did God send Jesus? He sent Jesus in order to bring man back to him because man, mankind have walked away from God. They are worshipping images, worshipping all sorts of things to be the saviour of the world uh, ultimately to to save the world you know to uh, die for our sins and you say that but we as a muslim say that jesus was sent to call people to worship god and to tell people what god told him to tell but what does jesus himself say jesus said i must preach the good news of the kingdom of god to the other towns also because that is why i was sent because that is why i was sent what is that to die on the cross for salvation? No, to preach the good news of the kingdom of God to the other towns. So Jesus here say what Muslims say. Did Jesus deny the coming of any prophet after him? There's yeah, he said there's no, there's no, no prophet. prophet. Yeah. Okay. He denied that there would be another messianic prophet, yes. I would say he preached on his return more, more than um, any, any prophet. We, we don't accept that. Jesus said, dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they're from God, 
because many false prophets have gone out into the world. We could see that the word spirits refers to prophets, and Jesus said many false prophets, but he didn't say all of them are false prophets. He said many, so there were some to come would be true prophets, but how could we know whether they're from God or not? Look at the next verse. This is how you can recognize the Spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. Well, if you put the Prophet Muhammad to that test, he is from God because the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, acknowledges Jesus. In fact, one of the basic teachings of Muhammad's message is to believe in Jesus Christ and his mother Mary. Did Jesus guide people at that time to all truth? Yes, certainly. Yes, because he said, I am the truth. Yes, he, uh, he did. He through revelation, yeah. yeah, through revelation, yeah. If Jesus guided people at that time to all truth, then why did he say that there is someone who will guide people to all truth? He said, when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears, and he will tell you what is yet to come. But who is this spirit of truth? The Holy Ghost. The spirit of truth here cannot refer to the Holy Ghost because according to your faith, the Holy Ghost is God and the third person, the Trinity. So he always exists. So we cannot say when he comes and we cannot say he will not speak on his own since he is God and the third person, the Trinity. So the spirit of truth in this verse means a man or a prophet. Why? When he, the spirit of truth comes. So it means that he hasn't come yet. And when he comes, he will guide you into all truth. It means all the truth hasn't been revealed yet. And when this one comes, he will guide you into all truth. So then there would be no need for anyone to come after him. And that also means he would be the last prophet. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears. And these are the prophet's attributes. They don't speak on their own. They speak only what was revealed to them from God. Compare that with what God said in the Quran about the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. وَمَا يَنْطِقُ عَنِ الْهَوَىٰ إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوحَىٰ Nor does he speak from his own inclination. It is not but a revelation revealed. And he will tell you what is yet to come. Prophets tell what is yet to come according to what was revealed to them from God. The Prophet Muhammad told us what is yet to come. And now we see that much of what he told us would come 1400 years ago has in fact emerged today. There's a lot we could say about this, but I will tell you one thing. The Prophet Muhammad said, The hour, the day of judgment will not come until the people compete with one another in constructing high buildings. I think there's no need to explain what the Prophet Muhammad said because this is something we witness today. What prophets say, it comes from the same light. And that's why I say they were Muslims. They are all calling people to worship one God, the Father as you say, and they are all worshiping Him. And look at the way the prophets pray according to the Bible and see who's praying the way the prophets and Jesus did today. Abraham, Abraham fell face down on the ground. Moses, and Moses quickly bowed his head toward the earth and worshiped. Jesus, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed. Who's putting their faces on the ground when they pray? Think about it.